This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Unforgiven sells out weeks ahead of time. So let's not act like business is down here. Uh, there's a couple notable debuts to return uh, or in return that we want to discuss here. Chris masters is going to come back on raw on August 28th from Atlantic city. And he's going to lose a John Cena by DQ with edges interference. Uh, masters had, uh, some personal issues to address and then went through OVW, but there is a noticeable difference in Chris's appearance and it's going to become something that we're, we're going to talk about in the future. I'm sure. But he got started so young on the main roster and he was presented as, you know, the masterpiece. It really was a quote unquote body gimmick, right? That's how, yeah. I mean, it was, that's what he was all about. He was a bodybuilder coming in. Uh, shout out to uh, Chris, who I know listens to the show. Uh, good dude. Uh, uh, super crazy moves over to raw and defeats Chris masters clean. Uh, you just told us how much you love super crazy. Excited to see him get a win on TV. But Masters, once upon a time, had a winning streak. Now he's back and doesn't seem like he's going to be getting the same slot in the company. Did he fall out of favor because he had an issue? Did it, was he just, was it too much too soon? Was it a maturity thing? Did his body not look the same and it was a body gimmick? What was missing? I just think it was all the above. I think it was, you know, he had built his initial debut was all on his body. His initial, everything about him was about his body and how he looked. Look, Chris wasn't ready to come in maturity-wise when he came in the first time. Too much too soon. Way too much too soon. And, you know, when Chris came back, I think that there was still a bit of maturity. But, um, you know. Because he's still early 20s. Yeah. And, again, when you, you look at him, you go, holy shit, man, the future with this guy. Um, also, probably too nice for his own good. Yeah, I could see that. Super nice guy. Very nice guy. And and probably too to, nice. Occasionally you have to be an asshole. Yes. Yeah. Occasionally. That's a shame. But here's the thing. Unlike he, me, I'm he's hardly still, ever an asshole. Still not an old guy. I mean, even now. Um, hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.